Hey coders and welcome to episode 6.1 of our spreadsheet service playlist. In this video we're going to talk about autofill. It's going to be an extension of the last episode and you'll see why. So as I was making the last episode, it occurred to me that a lot of the things you could do with copy two, with ranges at least, you can also do with another method, which is called autofill. There's also a second method called, called autofill to neighbor. They do almost the same exact thing. So autofill, if you see on this green blob, is basically you clicking and dragging that blue little square at the bottom right hand corner of the cell and that is basically what an autofill is. So let's see what it looks like in the code. So let's elaborate a little bit further on this autofill function. So if we go back to our spreadsheet and go into our sheet baby metrics, highlight these two cells, there should appear this blue little square at the bottom right hand corner. If we click drag, we should get these two numbers but auto incremented by one and also the format should retain so it should, it should uh, alternate between orange and transparent. So that is one way to do it. Also, you can hold down the option key on a Mac, click, drag, and what it will do is it will copy the data that you had selected and duplicate that as far as you drag down. So this is a, another way to do it, and I use both equally, I think. But let's try to do it programmatically. So first we need a range. So I'm going to declare var range to auto fill, get range. Let me start over there, get, er, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I'm just declaring it. <laughs> okay, so sheet bm dot get range. All right, so we're going to select this one. Row is going to be two. Column two, number of rows is two. Yep, okay, so just one, two. So that's our data. And and then we also need a destination range. So destination equals sheet bm dot get range. And then row two, column two. Let's just pick a number of rows to be random. 17, that sounds good. Again, so if it's just one column of data, you can leave the number of columns out. So you could you could say this and it would work, but it would just be redundant. So after you have your range to autofill and your destination range, let's say range to autofill, which is a which is of type range, and then let's say autofill, and then this takes a destination and also an autofill series. So our destination, that's great, it's already named destination. And then our series is a spreadsheet app enum. So let's let's type spreadsheet app dot autofill series. There it is, our first one. And then we get two options. One is the default and one is the alternate. So the default one is the one that I showed you first. It's just dragging it down, and it's auto incrementing. The alternate one is when you hit the option key and it will just copy whatever your selection range is and it will just copy it down through the de destination range. So let's just do default first just to show you what that is and we'll hit run. Great, no errors and then there we go. So again it auto incremented by one because two is one more than no, the, the number one. Alright so let's delete that and also get rid of the formatting and then we'll also showcase this other method which I actually use more frequently it's range to autofill and then autofill to neighbor and as you can see this doesn't take a destination it just takes a series so the destination is actually implied by by its neighbor so right now it has a neighboring column and it will think it will see that it has 29 rows that's the last row and then it will just make this its destination range so it'll just go down as far as the last data point in the in the in the column it will also if you so if you have data in in two neighboring columns it will prioritize the one on the left so it'll always look to, first to the one on the left and then it'll look on 
on the right. If there's nothing on the left, it'll you know it'll go down to row 16. But since we have data here in the left-hand column, it'll go down all the way to row 29. So let's just showcase that. And then our series is going to be alternate series this time. So I'll just copy paste point alternate series put a semicolon actually we're going to comment this out so that we don't have conflicting code great so now we're going to hit run and there we go here is our alternating series and we auto filled it all the way down to row 29 alright guys I hope you enjoyed that and learned a lot don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.